Welcome back to another video. I've got a charger to look at today. It's the C2 from Zanflare and the company sent this in for review. So we'll do my normal procedure. We'll just do the unboxing, show it to you, and then we'll do um, a few tests just to see how we get on with it. The included items, pretty basic user guide and the cable. And here's the dimensions up on the screen for you. It is quite a compact charger, um, but there are some limitations with the type of batteries that you can use with it, which I'll go on to a bit later on. There's your two buttons below the LCD display and you can see your contact points there. They've got sort of lines on them and the raised contact points on the rails too. They are quite smooth, the slots on this. Um, nice smooth action and movement. The length is 71 millimeters. So that means most of the batteries out there will fit into this, but there's a couple of limitations which I'll talk about in a minute. Just quickly showing the rest of the body design, you can see there's the micro USB input and a type A output for the power bank function. There's some ventilation there for cooling. Honestly, haven't found this to get hot. It gets warm when using it as a power bank, but that's about it. Haven't found heat to be a problem. Do look at this because it tells you the types of batteries that it supports. So most of the ones out there, except the C or D size cells. Just put a few batteries into the charger now just to show you some of the types you can fit. So the 26650, 18650, no problem. With the AAs, you do have to jiggle them around a little bit. Sometimes they can slip off the top contact point. The protected 20 and 21700 cells do not fit into the charger. It's not quite long enough, but the unprotected ones do. So do bear that in mind. That is a bit of a shame. Would have been better if it was a bit longer. Protected 18650 cells, no problems at all with those. Cable length on this is quite short. It's about 35 centimeters. And I'll just show you the display. Not all of the information on here you can use. The lithium ion phosphate, for example, and the test function, it doesn't have that. So maybe it's a shared panel with another charger. When you put the battery in, you've got around about 10 seconds to pick a charging speed from 300, 500, and 1000 milliamp. So that's good that you do have a range on the charger to pick, larger and smaller batteries. Um, it's quite well suited to both types. Then you just leave the charger and it will go at the charging speed. Assuming that you have enough amperage going into the charger, so two amps for the best speed, you do have a choice of the voltage, milliamp hour charged into the cell and the timer. There's your reverse polarity protection, so nothing bad's going to happen if you put a cell in the wrong way around. Both the channels and these are independent, so you can pick different charging speeds depending on the battery type that you're using. And the buttons also act as a charging indicator, so red charging, and then green means it's completed. With the display, that dims after about 10 seconds. It's not that easy to see it when the backlight is off, but um, at least it does go off in case you're charging at night. Viewing angles are pretty good on this from the front and to the side. The only place where it's not quite as good is if you're looking at the LCD display from behind. It does sort of disappear a bit. I'll just show you the charging now. I've got the AA battery on the left and you'll see the voltage increasing just over 1.5 volts. So that's using the Delta V system and it terminates when it detects the voltage drop. And in all the cases that I try batteries, it's pretty much bang on what you'd expect. 4.2 volts for the lithium and we're coming around about 1.5 volts for the nickel metal hydride cell so very accurate termination on the charger put a couple of dozen batteries through this in the last couple of weeks and i haven't seen any issues with termination nickel metal hydride or lithium it's pretty much spot on what i'll do is just quickly show you the power bank function you don't get much information it just says 5 volts usb and it didn't seem to make any difference whether i used one or two batteries assuming that they're fairly well charged. You do have a cutoff on that as well, so you won't over discharge batteries and you can only use that with lithium cells. You don't need much of a current to get this charger going, just over a couple of hundred milliamps and it will charge, albeit slowly. Quite happy with this, decent build quality, good termination on the charging, but would have liked to have seen a type C port instead of the micro USB. The only other real disadvantage is that you can't charge the protected 20 or 21700 cells. If they'd have made it a little bit taller, maybe four or five millimeters, you would have been able to do that. So a few places to improve on this one, although overall, I think it's quite a good charger if you're looking for a compact or travel charger. Thanks for watching the video. I do appreciate it. Got any questions? Drop a comment below and I'll catch up with you soon.